Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. What I'm trying to tell you is, Karibu Tena, it's time for another dope episode of... Sports Central, yes, and in that same spirit, Uhoro, Koro, Mwasindamana, Watindata, and all of that. Well, this is definitely that show that guarantees your weekly fix of sports action. And we're your hosts, Mike Mondo. And I'm Wanjira Longauer. So get comfortable, put your feet up, and stay tuned because we're going to show you all the sports that you want to know about right here and right now. Coming up on today's episode. We got to kick it at the Sport Pesa Super 8 Super Sunday for tons of fun music and of course that fantastic football action. I love Futuna Hangout and now I say Wataska FC as the Sport Pesa Premier League enters its home stretch. And then we crashed the Nairobi City Thunders training session and we got a one on one with their sensational point guard. I'm talking about Griffin Ligare. <laughs> what a name. But first, on to the headlines. Kisumu was the next destination of the Seven Series as the Lakeside City hosted us for the annual Dala Sevens. With crucial series points on offer, the leading sides look to ensure that nothing is left to chance as they battle it out for the main cup trophy. Once the group stages were done and dusted, it's down to the tournament's business end as the Kenya Harlequins was the first side to make it through, edging out KCB with a 10-7 score. Strathmore Leos were up next, also knocking out Mwamba with a 10-7 score. Cabra Sugar was the third side to make it through, getting a toughly fought 19-14 victory over top Fry Nakuru. The Menengai Cream Homeboys was the final side to make it through eliminating Resolution Impala Saracens. The Kenya Harlequin put a convincing display to make it through to the finals with a 17-0 victory over the Strathmore Leos as the Menengai Cream Homeboys were up next ensuring that they make it to their fourth consecutive Main Cup Finals appearance as they moved past Cabra Sugar. It was again the Kenya Harlequin to take on the Menengai Cream Homeboys in a repeat of the Driftwood Sevens final. But this time, the Menengai Cream Homeboys made sure that they settled old scores, starting on blistering pace and registering 48 to 5 victory to be crowned the Dalla Sevens 2016 champions. The victory sees the Menengai Cream Homeboys top the National 7 Series with 82 points ahead of Queens, who come in second with 73 points. It's all systems go as the Harambe Starlets prepare to leave the country for the Sekafa Women Football Championship kickoff on the 11th of September 2016 in Uganda. Having been in a camp for close to one week, the Starlets, who have been pooled in Group A together with Uganda, Burundi and Zanzibar, are expected to have a fruitful outing. As the Sport Pesa Super 8 Premier League comes closer to the playoffs, Super Sunday put together some fabulous fixtures for their fans to enjoy alongside entertaining performances. And most notably was that game that pitted the Giants from the East that could be the title decider this season and of course the chase for the Golden Boot. With the Sport Pesa Super 8 Premier League inching closer to the playoffs, the Super Sunday set up some thrilling matches for fans as well as the players who showed up knowing what's at stake. DJ Bashapa come through Man City Stadium, Wakilisha Mtaako. Leo Futena, where's the east side? You know, Masana, Kumbuka Tukunda in the Sports Central, Wakilisha Mtaako. West side.
The first match of the day saw Melta Kabiria gathering the three points of the match after seeing off Kabete United with a 2-1 victory. Up next was Shauri Moyo Blue Stars taking on Diguna FC after a goalless first half. Shauri Moyo Blue Stars went two goals up, but Diguna were also lucky enough to get a goal courtesy of a goal mouth Malay that resulted to an own goal after Shauri Moyo's captain scored in his own net at the dying minutes of the game. Fine, Of course, we're here for Super Sunday, supporting um, the very best of grassroots soccer. The final and arguably most awaited match of the day pitched the first and the second side of the leagues as Kayole Asubuhi took on Jericho All-Stars. The nerve-wracking encounter saw Asubuhi edging out Jericho All-Stars courtesy of an early Brian Ochieng's goal. The victory sees Kayole Asubuhi assuming the league's pole position, dislodging the TUK at the top spot where they now sit with 58 points while Jericho's title chase is now a subject of mathematical probability as they drop to third with 56 points. Thank you extreme for coming here and there and there. And I want to thank the people who are coming here. Thank you for coming here. We are going to win. We are going to win. We are going to win. Tulikuwa tume plan kumalize game first half but bahati mbaya bahati nzuri wakaangukia na wakatangulia kwa neti na wakakuwa tactical wakatuai It is one of the best super Sundays in terms of attendance we had um, almost double of what of what we had the last super Sunday and you can see the the, 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 the game was really tough and uh, although the Rico lost but they also they also played well but it's just a clear indication of all the good things we are doing at the grassroots. That's why you can see we can be able to, to pull fans all, all over Nairobi to come and watch our Super Sunday. We really appreciate our sponsors for the, for the support they have given us. You can see today we gave the second batch of the set of uniforms we, we promised the teams. And it's just a clear indication that there are so many good things to come. And so many sponsors um, are willing to come on board to help, to help us support, uh, support grassroots football. Wanji, you got to love these events, man, the entertainment, the environment, all the good things that go down. Absolutely fantastic. I, love I it. couldn't agree more. I mean, especially the entertainment aspect. That's what really got me hooked. I'm hella psyched for those playoffs. Well, you and me both. And feel free to let us know which team you are supporting at the Sport Pesa Super 8 Premier League. Don't forget, use that hashtag SportsCentralKE and the hashtag Wakilisham Tayako. In the meantime, Sports Central is taking a break. But when we come back, we head on to the Sport Apesa Premier League and hang out with the league leaders, Tusca FC. Keep it here. Welcome back. In case you're only tuning in now, this is Sports Central, the show that guarantees you your weekly fix of sports action. And of course, as one just said, still on that fix, the Sport Pesa Premier League looking good for Tusk FC as they hang on to that number one spot. Especially with that mid-season transfer, bringing in the likes of Alan Wanga to beef up the squad. Still, there are some games left before the league winds down, but the Brewers look like they are well on their way to the title. Check it out. Yeah, so far the 2016 season is not all that easy, it's still rough because uh, the race is tight, you can see, according to the table, we are four points uh, ahead of the Goma here, so we are in a challenge of those arrivals, so you can see the challenge and even the other coming teams, they are coming very fast to us, so pressure is there. But being my first time in Tasca, maybe I think it wasn't all that bad. It 
it's a second leg na no one wants to drop points it's a competitive second leg unapata kuna wale hawataki wanataka kutoka relegation kuna wale wanataka top 8 kuna wale wanataka top 4 kuna wale wanataka championship the main area uh, where I should work on at least is in defense because we do concede so much goals almost in every game we play but you have been scoring by defending that goal at times it becomes very difficult. So that's the area where I, I mostly concentrate a lot. So if we can maybe avoid conceding an easy goal, then it will be okay. My teammates, now we are almost and it's getting more tougher, so we need more focus on the top because and well, as you know, on Sports Central, we get you that exclusive interview. We got to hang out one on one with their evergreen keeper, Martin Musalia. He shared some of his best moments in the sport. Martin Musalia, goalkeeper Tasca FC. We joined Tasca FC last year, Mwezi Wasita, and Nikitoka Nikitoka FC Leopards, Nikakam. On a personal level, Nikio Mdogo, Palimimi Lizaliwa, Nan Lizaliwa Taina to a Ziwa, Kotua Apa. So Kuna tournament more than it will go to Biro. You could Biro Likona go by then Likom Dogo and Ajovele Makipa or Joto Kramble or Biggie. Keep a job on bigger gloves, Zaki, white, Safi, Nini, Nilikonangalesa, you know, Nilikonas and Nikom Biggie, Pamela Zakazai Tolaman and Nivekama. Come on, you keep a vlog, Mevana. You only can motivate. Salia is a very important guy in our team as a goalkeeper. He's too talkative, can motivate other players. Even if he doesn't play, he doesn't feel bad. He continues encouraging his fellow friends so that maybe it's when his turn comes in, he do the, 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 the needful job also. But he's a crucial player in this team. Uh, in any given team, even at the highest level, you have to have a very good goalkeeper, safe hands. They call it safe hands. Uh, when you have safe hands, you're sure that uh, sometimes a game can be so critical, so tight, so tough, but maybe you win 1 nil or it's 0 0. You say thank you for the draw, but the goalkeeper has to be, to be one of those, uh, the pillar of the team. Martin Mosale. Goalkeeping mostly in the defense line. So, defense line is mostly team in Mekua, ni watu to the now youth. I was almost in the season of the year Martin Musalia. He is a, a top goalkeeper. The quality is very good. He is a very good goalkeeper. He is a very good goalkeeper. He is a very good goalkeeper. He is a team player. He is a very good goalkeeper. 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 He is a So, I believe that the other people who are in the corner is on the Nio iyo goalkeeping unit vile iyo quality for hapo ina ina bring out the best ya ule mtu ana anapata hiyo chance ya kucheza my fan watu watu support na watu watu encourage hata tukidroge mbili tatu ama moja hivyo wajue bado ni league tunaitaka si ati vitu zote zenda always vile mnataka but vile tume tumekuwa hiyo number 1 as from first leg kusonga mpaka mali tumefika ni through hard work yetu na support yao so naomba hiyo cooperation tuiendelee hivyo mpaka mwisho to achieve kitu tunataka ambao ni league Martin Musalia task FC goalkeeper you are watching Sports Central keep it locked Eh uh -huh. so Mike what about a chance at Tusker actually holding up a trophy at the end of the season? They could, they could. They do have a real chance at walking away with the title. They may have to work harder though. You have Gorma here, you have Madari United all trailing them. So right now they can't afford to slip up. But you know, at Sports Central, we wish them all the best. Like always. But you know what? Right now we want to take it over to some basketball action. And that means we're stepping on into that Nairobi City Thunders training session we told you about earlier. We got one-on-one -on -one with the point guard, Griffin Ligare. Uh, Mike, 
Do you know what a point guard does? <laughs> Actually, of course I do. I do. I used to you play used to back play, in right? The, yeah, I used to hey. play back in the day. He handles a bit of distribution of the ball uh -huh. and several other things. But instead of me explaining it, we'll let the pro do it. Take a look. My name's uh, Griffin Ligare. I I play basketball. I am a point guard. I play for Nairobi City Thunder and uh, I've been playing uh, with the team since 2009. Uh, Nairobi City Thunder takes part in the Kenya Premier, Premier League for basketball and uh, we've, been, we've, been, uh, we've been playing top flight basketball for the past, uh, as, far, as far as I can remember, ever since I joined this team we've been playing in the Premier League. Basketball is a fun sport and uh, I remember back in the days that was the main main reason as to why I started playing basketball. It's because it's because every time you dribble the ball, the bounce, it's fun playing with the bounce. My main drive that uh, that always pushes me to come for practice is one, I want to get better and uh, I want to become the best point guard out there. So in order for me to be, to play at that level, I always have to come out here and put in the work during practice, work on my game so that uh, in my next game I'll be able to put up the best performance. So I always play with the mentality that um, as in, I always take every game like it's my last. So in order for me to be able to put up a good show, I have to put in the work in practice. A point guard in a basketball team is in charge of running the offense. He's the floor leader, an extension of a coach in the field of play. For anyone to be a great point guard, the first thing is they need to be good in ball handling, okay? And also they need to be good decision makers, um, which will also require them to to be good uh, to be good passers yeah in the NBA there are actually so many so many role models that I look up to top on the list is Allen Iverson he used to play for the Sixers he wasn't so big he wasn't uh, so tall but he played his heart out. The other players currently were so good in the sport. They're not so big either. Uh, one of them is uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry is, is just phenomenal because he's a, he's a great ball handler and uh, he can shoot the ball well. If you see in an NBA player, you want to be like them. So those are the guys I look up, uh, up to. This season, Nairobi City Thunder um, is looking to make it to the playoffs. And for the young athletes, especially the ones in school, don't overdo sports and leave out books. You need to learn how to strike a balance. I'd 
like to thank God for the father he's brought me. Secondly, I'd like to thank my fans uh, for their support and for pushing me to become the best, to bring, the, to bring out the best in me. And then I'd also like to thank uh, my family for their support, uh, for, being, for being there for me. It means a lot, it means a lot. Lots of hard work there, Wanjira. You have to agree, lots of work, man. I can't even refute it. And you know what? Mm -hmm. Langston Hughes once said, life ain't no crystal stairs. So that means you got to put in the work. Well, right now, we're going to take it on over to the TL, where some adoring fans are showing us mad love. And we're always really appreciative of that. Hello, Derek. You're saying that you want to see hockey on the show. Eh? Kwani, Whoa. Kenyans want to see hockey. I didn't even Thank know that that was a thing. <laughs> OK, so I guess that means I'm going to have to tap Deep down into my Slavic past, my Go my deep. my father roots, All you know, the yeah, the fatherland, just to find <laughs> out what's happening in hockey. And of course, Derek, don't worry, we're gonna sort you out in the next episode. Keep it right here. Of course, we'll be looking for some hockey action to just spice things up. Victor, on the other hand, you are showing us how to go about stuff. Yep, when you're trying to watch Sports Central and there's a blackout. <laughs> Wow, you have to give it to him, man. <laughs> nah, but KOT is the most creative True. bunch that I've ever seen. <laughs> well, speaking of creativity and showing love, if you can do both, you may be able to win yourself one of these fabulous Hall City jerseys just like I'm wearing. So, you know what to do. Yeah, bro, Jueyo Story, feel free to hit us up on social media, Sports Central KE. That is where you can find us. Let me start with Facebook. It's Sports Central Kenya. That's the page. You can also go on Instagram. It's at Sports Central KE. You can also go on Twitter. That's at Sports Central underscore K. So, hey, if you even want to check up on some uh, old episodes, go ahead and do so. On our YouTube channel, you'll find all of them there. But until then, keep, keep it, it Sports Central. Central.